so uh, here's uh, this is uh, this is the last little piece of, uh, of of like creative writing that I did. Um, I am easily amused. <laughs> I think this is a great way to go through. <laughs> Some guy said to me today, "You seem like relentlessly happy." And I said, what? He said, you're just like happy all the time. Like, do you work at that? And I said, well, what's there to be unhappy about? I mean, like, I'm really lucky. I would be a cock rocket if I wasn't happy. Uh, uh, I mean, it's like, I think that, you know, you, you always keep working and you always try to be awesome and you always try to, like, do great stuff and you don't get complacent, but, like, you got to enjoy stuff. Ferris Bueller was right. I'm turning 40 this year, and holy crap, you guys. Yeah, woo yourself. <laughs> the only time I feel old, I've never felt like emotionally old, although the other day, like a middle schooler was walking down the street. Uh, I was at the coffee shop, and a middle schooler was walking down the street, and she's like, hey, everybody, look. And she crushes like the Pepsi can she was drinking, and then she kicks it into the, into the, the planter, and I go, hey, how about you make that uh, into recycling instead of trash? Like that, like I didn't even think. <laughs> and she looked up at me like, <gasps> dad voice. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm that guy. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> it's 9.30. <laughs> That's me too. That's me too. And then my wife, and then, uh, but those are the only times I sort of feel emotionally old, but I never really feel physically old, except when I like try to do anything. <laughs> I'm like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go for a ride on my bike. And my body's like, no, you're not. <laughs> I would really, but it would be fun. We can go to, we'll go to the bike path. I mean, nope. But the bike path, it goes by the river. And no, you know what? Go ahead. Have a great time. Hey, bursitis in your right hip? Um, you're gonna want to talk to him in a little while. I don't know why you shouldn't go anywhere and do anything. And then my brain's like, the serotonin in my brain's like, you know Diablo's on the computer, right? <laughs> and, then my, and then the rest of me is like, and there's a lot of beer in the keg. I hope for beer, by the way. It's something everybody should do. It's freaking awesome. So anyway, my point is, I'm easily amused. Yeah, clearly you're all losing the industry, wouldn't be. <laughs> this place would have emptied out when Jenkins fell on the floor with his giant uh, 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 So anyway, uh, this is this is this is a thing that I put on, on my on my my blog, and it's it's called a uh, if RoboCop were a bad '80s sitcom. <laughs> So early, uh, early one day, my brain said to me, "You know what would be cool if RoboCop was a sitcom where it was like always screwing up, and every time you did something, the other officers would put their hands on their hips and go RoboCop, <laughs> and then he would shoot everybody." <laughs> so I mentioned this to Twitter, and a couple of people quickly replied with funny ideas of their own. Then I got excited and made this thing. If RoboCop were a, were a bad hate sick. Uh, interior police headquarters, day. RoboCop comes toward camera doing that weird marching walk thing. He stops in front of a vending machine and precisely turns to face it. Flash cut to the RoboCop POV. Through RoboCop's heads up display, we see the nutritional information of the various items in the machine as he scans them. A can of soda has a mouse in it. A chocolate bar is just a bunch of cocaine. A bag of chips is actually a bag of fingernails. A roll of lifesavers is a dildo. It uh, by so fast, though, the audience doesn't really notice it, except in the Tyler Durden unconscious way. The crosshairs appears on the HUD and selects a bag of oil-flavored microchips. They're actual potato chips. Uh, but they have a cartoony, smiley RoboCop drawing on the front, giving a thumbs up. <laughs> Back to scene, RoboCop puts a crumpled dollar bill into the machine, which spits it out onto the floor. He does this three or four times. RoboCop, dead or alive, those chips are coming with me. <laughs> Laugh track. <laughs> RoboCop. Accept my money. You have 10 seconds to comply. <laughs> he tries to put the money back into the machine. The machine spits it back out. I have ordered you to accept my money. You have 7 seconds to comply. He tries to put the money into the machine. The, me the machine spits it back out. It falls onto the floor again. Laugh track. <laughs> the, the, the dollar bill hits Robocop's shoe. Robocop, 
You have attempted to assault a police officer. <laughs> you are under arrest. An older, grizzled sergeant comes out of his office down the hall. Sergeant, RoboCop! What the hell are you doing? RoboCop, making an arrest, sir. The sergeant rolls his eyes and shakes his head. Sergeant, would you mind telling me how you're going to arrest a vending machine? Laugh track. RoboCop, by the book. Laugh track. Sergeant, RoboCop, you crazy! Let me help you! The sergeant picks up the dollar bill off the floor. RoboCop pulls his gun in a flash and points it at the sergeant. You are tampering with evidence. You are under arrest. Sergeant, you can't arrest me, RoboCop! I'm your boss! RoboCop, you are under arrest. Sergeant, RoboCop, I don't have time for this! I retire in two days! <laughs> Laugh track. Robocop. Arrest. Arrest. Uh, Arrest. Uh, Sergeant sighs. Ah, oh, damn it. You're stuck in a loop. I'd better reset you. The sergeant takes a step toward Robocop. Audience. <gasps> the sergeant puts his hand on Robocop's shoulder. Robocop snaps out of it. Robocop. Assault on an officer. Use of deadly force is authorized. Robocop shoots about 10,000 bullets into the sergeant, blowing him across the hallway in slow motion, the bullets tearing his body apart in really gross, realistic fashion. He shoots across the hallway where he hits the wall, slides to the floor, leaving streaks of gore and blood behind him. The sergeant, gasping, dying, yet somehow still alive. Damn it, Robocop. I had two days to retirement. The sergeant dies. The Robocop says, Thank you for your cooperation. I am not arresting you anymore. <laughs> Laugh track. Cheers. Dozens of officers rush into the hallway, stopping short of the grisly scene. They look at Robocop, incredulous. Robocop turns back to the vending machine. Your move, dirtbag. <laughs> Suddenly, the bag of chips drops from the vending machine for some reason, startling Robocop. He whirls towards it and fires about 100,000 bullets into it, destroying it in a hail of epic gunfire. Police officers, in unison, Robocop! Robocop turns to the camera and innocently shrugs. Freeze frame as the synthastic theme music plays. Audience cheers. Written by Stephen J. Cannell. Thank you very much. Um, that was really, as you can, I'm sure you can see why that's amusing to me. Uh, some people on the internet were angry at me for like, Using cliches and using like the um, uh, like like using Ed 209's dialogue for RoboCop, to which I replied, "It's a bad 80s sitcom." <laughs> that was an exercise in bad 80s sitcom writing. But then I kind of plotted out the entire first season of RoboCop. <laughs> and then, like all the things that happen and all the wacky adventures he gets into, and I kind of want to write it. <laughs> um, because it's so stupid. Like, it could probably get on the air. 